the channel. Today we're gonna be working on saving a puzzle. Now, my husband and I have been working on this puzzle for over a month now on Friday and Saturday nights. We have been plugging away at it. Um, it was kind of painful, kind of fun, but we're just not ready to put it in the box. And uh, this is a thousand piece puzzle and it is a Pirates of the Caribbean puzzle that we got at Walt Disney World a few years ago. And uh, we've decided to save it. And uh, what we're gonna do is uh, get it all ready, put it in a frame, and put it on up on the wall in our son's room. Because our son's room is themed with uh, a little bit of Lost Boys and a little bit of a Pirates theme. So it's gonna look fantastic in there. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around, let you guys know what products we're using to make this happen and what the puzzle looks like. All right, so this is the puzzle. I'm trying to get rid of the glare. It is so, 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 so beautiful. It took so long to put this thing together. And uh, what we're gonna end up doing is using a puzzle glue to hold this thing together so that we can frame it. And the glue that we're gonna be using is Mod Podge Puzzle Saver. This is something that I got at Walmart. Now I'm gonna use this tool to paint on the glue. And then if I need an extra brush, I have this small one here to get into the cracks. So let's get going. This is the first corner that I'm working on and it is getting into the cracks very well. I am curious how it's gonna go ahead and dry if I'm still gonna see some of that white in the cracks. It does not smell good, guys. So um, if you don't wanna smell this, maybe get a mask before you start, but this is what it looks like with one coat here in this corner. <laughs> So I put the glue on about half of the puzzle and I can still see a little bit of the white right here in the cracks. This is the side that I just finished. So if you look on the other side here that I did a few minutes ago, you can see that some of the white areas and the cracks are going away. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the upper half of the puzzle and then I'll let it sit for about 10 minutes and then put on another coat. I ended up getting a glove from our pantry because I am starting to have the need to touch the puzzle and I don't wanna get the glue on my hands. If you do get the glue on your hands, you can just use some soap and water, um, but it does specify on the bottle that you need to be careful with the surface that your puzzle is under. So I ended up using parchment paper that I laid down underneath the puzzle. I just kind of wiggled it under the puzzle so that it didn't uh, break up the pieces. So it took me a few minutes to take care of that. But I didn't want to ruin our table, didn't want to get all the sticky stuff on my hands and accidentally pull up the puzzle with my hands because they're sticky. So I'm seeing if the glove will work in this process, but I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the top part. Up waiting 20 minutes for it to dry. I'm going to start putting on the second coat. Not sure if you guys can see it, but I can see a little bit of cloud, but you do not see the white and the cracks anymore. So let's see what it looks like after a second coat. 20 minutes of drying, and you can still see a little bit of cloudy areas but not as bad. You no longer see any of the white in all the cracks, so it's working, guys. Now, when I lift up the puzzle, I still see some areas that it wants to give. Um, I'm a little nervous about flipping it over and doing the back right now because I'm still seeing some puzzle pieces that are starting to come apart. So I'm gonna do one more coat on the top, let it dry for 20 minutes, 
and then I'll flip it over and glue the bag. Now my concern is that I don't have enough in this bottle to do that, so let's see what happens. I put the next coat on pretty quickly so you can see a lot of the white areas and the cloudy surface here. I'm gonna let it sit for 20, 25 minutes and then see if I could turn it around and paint the back. Yeah, you can see a lot of the cloudiness right here. So my hope is that this clears up really well over the next 20 minutes. And uh, as far as how much I have left in this container, I'd say it's about halfway done. So I definitely think that I have enough with this project to complete. It is the next day and I let it dry all night long and I am very pleased. It actually came out to look more of like a glossy matte look on the surface. Uh, we ended up using this whole bottle to glue it together. So really quick, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. We're gonna go to Walmart and get a frame for it today and hang it up in the bedroom. So I'm gonna flip the camera around to show you guys what it looks like right now. Uh, you can see that it looks a little bit more glossy and kind of matted down, uh, but it looks perfectly fine. Uh, you'll also see that some of the glue collected on the side, but it does come off with a little bit of a scratch. Um, I'm not too worried about that at all. And uh, I ended up letting it sit all night just like this, and I didn't want it face down all night on the back looks pretty good too you can see i'm lifting it and this is what it's going to look like we only did one coat on the back and two coats on the front so we're going to go to walmart today get a frame for this and hang it up in the bedroom later on so stick around so you can see what it looks like in a frame we are at walmart trying to find a picture frame it's just an odd size for us to be looking for i don't know if we're going to have any luck Jane, let me see the frame that we ended up getting. So this is what we're gonna work with. It's a little bit bigger than the puzzle, but uh, we'll have to figure something out when we get home, but it's a very odd size. So we successfully hung up the picture. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you guys in a moment. But as I mentioned at the store, the frame is a little bit big. So what I ended up doing is taking the picture that was in the frame I uh, turned it around <laughs> and then I took my daughter's uh, black marker and I colored the sides so that uh, hopefully you don't see too much of it. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like. There you have it guys. What do you think? It looks pretty good. I can see a little bit of matting from my view and the glue did give it a little bit of a glossier look but uh, you can see on the sides where I had to take the marker and color it in a little bit. And then at the base, you don't see that at all. It fits really well from top to bottom. But on the sides is where you'll see it. But if you have no idea, you probably wouldn't even notice it, but it looks pretty good in my son's room. Let's go adventure in the deep blue sea. Holding is with you